Hi, fall fitness girls. How are you? Good morning. It's a chilly Wednesday morning here in um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I hope wherever you are, you're a little warmer than I am. Okay, here's our fall fitness workout. I'm going to work on upper body. Those arms. Yes. Um, give you some triceps to do besides the dips and the tricep push-ups and uh, some frontal raises, some lateral raises, working the triceps from the back, and a few other goodies just for you. Okay, let's get started. The chair that's near me, and we're gonna use the chair because I'm gonna show you how to do some uh, lower body legs on the chair, and also some of the arm exercises you can do in the chair as well. Okay, keep a chair nearby because we'll use the chair for some other phases of our workout. We're going to use dumbbells. I have some pretty light five pound dumbbells. You're welcome to use three pounds, eight pounds, or ten pounds. And we're going to work our arms this morning. So weights will be down, bellies in, or in, and we take the small of our back and make it less hollow by pulling in our abs and bringing our shoulders over our hips. Now we're going to raise our arms up one at a time. One arm up as high as your shoulder, lower it down other arm as high up as your shoulder, lower it down. When you're raising the arms up, remember, again, they don't go higher than your shoulder. Arms up, press down. Those are frontal raises. Then, after you do your frontal raises, we do the side lateral raise. Arm up, down, opposite arm, up, down, both arms, up, down. So we'll do our um, right arm 10 times, and this is going to be your left, my right. And then we switch, and then you bring both arms up five times. So we'll do sets of those to the front, frontal raise, and then a lateral raise. When you do your right and your left to the front, and both arms, and you do your set, right, left to the sides, and then your lateral raises. We're gonna do frontal and lateral raises. Okay, so up, down, out, two. You're gonna feel them in your shoulders and in your biceps. Core stays engaged so the body doesn't sway. If you want to sit in a chair, you can sit in a chair and this will help like Jacqueline, you're talking about pain. This will help with some of the pain. It helps you to stabilize the lower body and feel supported. You keep the abs in, and you can do it without even lifting the weights. You're still engaging those muscles. Added weight just means more resistance. So as you get stronger, you can then begin to add and incorporate weights. But all of us can sit on the chair. I mean, I'm getting a full workout just lifting right here. Those are your frontal and lateral raises. That next set, you notice it'll say bicep curl. So after you finish your raises, you come up, feet hip width apart, arms extended down, lightly holding your dumbbell, squeeze all the way up, lower all the way down. You have 10 of these all the way up and down. And then you come to a 90 degree angle, a halfway point, right there, and then you pulse, 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 pulse for 10 times. And then you come up, halfway, up, halfway, up, halfway. We're going to do that for a total of 10. You're going to hold it. You're going to pulse 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Hold it. And then you're going to come all the way down. And this is where it's going to get juicy because you're going to feel the burn. So lower, halfway, lower, halfway, hold, and pulse. Put those weights down and begin to stretch. When you stretch, you take your hand out, take the fingers out, press down. So the longest stretch for your bicep. You also pull the arms out, flexing the palms. Pulling both arms out, feel that great stretch in the bicep, pull it behind you. Okay, so we did the frontal raises and we did the side ra uh, lateral raises. We grab our weight, we take our weights, belly button in, abs engaged, tushy is nice and firm, Shoulders back. We tend to want to do this, so we're going to roll our shoulders and sit back. Weights behind you. Notice the difference. My arms are kind of laxed here. I begin to pull up the weight, and you see the muscle, the tricep right here, 
is engaged. So you pull back as far as you can go, and then you press back. Press, 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 press. You keep pushing using your dumbbells. You don't even need weights. If you want to do it without weights, you can do it without weights. No weights, just with the palms, press, 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 press. It's as though you're pushing the air behind you. Notice my arms are completely straight. 20 times, and then bring it down, lift up, stretch, bring the elbow behind you. Now the bicep curls you can do in the chair. The triceps, if you want to sit in the chair, you can do one arm at a time, switching sides, or just stand up and do all three sets. I think you should be able to do that with ease, with no pain. Okay, so we've done our frontal raises, we've done our lateral raises, we've done our bicep curls, and we've done our triceps. We've done a great job. You can hold your weights and bend down, sit in your chair, press back up for squats. I know squats aren't your favorite, but they're good for you. So sit down in that chair, press back up. Now, if you're feeling comfortable with those squats, get on away from that chair, use your dumbbells, and just squat. Use your dumbbells, lift up, squat, remember belly button in, keep the knees behind the toes. Squatting down to your sitting in that chair, coming all the way up. I'm going to back up the computer so you can see my legs. Can you see my legs? Maybe I'll stand on a chair. Don't do this at home. <laughs> squat all the way down, notice my knees are behind my toes, and squeeze up. All the way down, belly button in. Squeeze. You're going to work your calves. I'm going to put this down so you can see my feet. Feet are hip distance apart. Raise your heels. Press up. 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 20 times. If you want to, you can come to one foot and just raise one foot up. And you can switch sides. Also, Sitting in the chair, we can do leg extensions. You can keep your weight here, and this is a really good time to use a resistance band, which you can wrap around your feet. Extend one leg up, pull it down. Opposite leg up, pull it down. You want to feel the strength in your quad as it engages, keeping the chest lifted and forward, pressing the heel towards the screen, and lower down. Switch sides, same thing. Lower down. If you need support, you can hold on to the chair while you do your leg extensions. When you're at the gym, you sit down and you have an actual leg extension machine. You lift the weights with both legs up. Okay, ladies. That's your quick and easy workout. I have it written up. You're going to do three sets of everything and you can incorporate this in your normal workout routine or you can do it in and of itself. Don't forget your warm up. Do some cardio, at least 8 to 10 minutes of cardio before you start exercising. Run, brisk walk, jumping jacks, high knees, um, anything that's going to get your heart rate up, okay? I want to hear how you do and I hope you have a great day.